Donald Tusk is arresting all the anti-globalist politicians like we always knew Donald Tusk would. The West is going to hell, the East is going to hell, every war on earth there seems to be problems. It just sails you every day, on the television, on the radio, just out of the news, just coming out of the walls at you, isn't it? It's coming out of the walls at you and it can drive you down and it can make you low. And what happens is you end up just sitting there. If you go to work, you go to work. It takes your mind off it, the gruelling day, you come home and it hits you. The news is there. There's no good time. Then you go to bed and you get up to more of the same. And it's, it is, you stay inside and it's as if you're captured by bad news. Like I say, it's all pervading coming out of the walls at you. And this is why I keep saying, and I've been saying for years now on all my podcasts, and I keep saying, get out into the countryside. You've got to get out into the countryside. Get out of the house. If you get into the countryside, those walls disappear. Those walls are no more. There's no restrictions. There's nobody there to give you bad news. Nothing. There's no, it's silent. There's no way anybody can come and spoil your day. Because you're out in the countryside and it's beautiful. No matter where you are in the world, get out in the countryside. Just get out from those four walls and you will be a lot happier. And your mind will be a lot happier. Your mind will be a lot more at peace. Do as I tell you. It's beautiful today, it's cool, it's cold. There's a very slight wind. I can hear birds, I can hear crows in the background cawing away, a very English sound. There's only us here. A few people we've seen out with dogs, but at the moment there's just us. A farm over to our left and then rolling, rolling fields. Rolling fields over to my left and a reservoir and low hills and woodland over to my right and then a path stretching out behind us back towards civilization. It's so, so cool. It's so, so therapeutic. It's so, so cathartic. It is so, so worth it. It is so, so compulsory. I've made a new law. You all have to get out into the countryside or you have to give me a hundred pounds each. I'll leave you my PayPal contacts. When you all get up and get out and go to the gym, that's great and it's great for the mind and it's great for the body and it's great for the soul and exercise is great. But also coming out into the countryside is great because that's great for the mind. There's no, nothing else can do what that is doing. It's pure and it's free. And if you don't come out now, the seasons are going, we're going to move into spring and every moment has a beauty. So this moment on the 11th of January 2024 will never happen again. That cloud will never be exactly like that. That tree will never be exactly like that. Those sheep in the field will be, not be standing exactly like that. So if you don't get out, you will miss it. This moment in time will never, ever, ever happen again. Because you take every opportunity. I'm an uncomplicated person, so this suits me. And I think most of us are. I think most of us need to be a little less complicated than we are taking on all this stuff, information that's thrown at us that kind of makes us form an opinion so we spend our time make forming opinions about things and getting angry about things we don't need to not worth it we go to the gym well not me but other people do people who are a lot fitter than me you go to the gym you exercise you do what you can and that's great that's good for the body and it's good for the mind but there is nothing can beat getting out in the countryside 
It's mind, it's exercise for the mind, it's a gym for the mind. It's uncomplicated. You can't make it complicated, it's impossible. You have to, your mind has to be clear. We spend all our time, media, spend all our time, things are thrown at us. We form opinions. When we get things thrown at us, and I'm the worst person for doing this, information, you start disseminating it and making opinions and getting angry and getting confrontation and getting all sorts of things about it. But the thing is, once you're out here, you can't do that because it's just here. It's just nature. It's not threatening. Nature isn't threatening you. We owe everything to nature. Nature doesn't owe us anything. And all we can do is trying to live in tandem with it, in sympathy with it. And it will repay us tenfold. I love it. I just felt like I had to do this video today because it's just, every day I come out, me and Molly are out for hours because we're just out and it's, my mind's so clear. And you can just say, you can walk and just let your mind go wherever the hell it wants to. Just drift away on a magic carpet. It is so important that we look after our minds as much as we look after our bodies because mental illness at the moment is an absolute curse to humanity. It affects so many people in so many ways. So you can either pay a therapist a lot of money, or you can let nature be your therapist. If it suits you, and if it works, and it works for me. I've got a very febrile imag imagination, and sometimes it's better just to get out and just contemplate the world around you in the countryside. It's like walking and meditation, which I trained myself to do some years ago. It's beautiful. Well, we hope you all have a good day and a good rest of the week. Coming towards the end of the week, have a great weekend. Get out in the countryside. Do your mind good. Do your soul good. If you like our videos, please consider subscribing and press the notification bell and the like button. Have a great time. See you on the flip. Peace and love. <laughs>